So from the posterior glenoid, we want to be a lot lower. So if you come down in line with that fold of skin there and push the camera in, the first thing we generally see is the teres major muscle. And it looks like a big hypoechoic triangle. So there's teres major. So if you see teres major, you want to be a little bit more anterior, so more in the armpit. So if we scoop in here, you might find it easier to follow the shaft up. So you find your, obviously your bone, and then it ends up looking like a femoral head neck junction. So you can see the little ball on the left and the scoop on the right. And where we measure it over the humeral head, it would be a two millimeter cutoff. So don't include the cartilage, we'd measure from here to here. And if we were measuring at the neck, we would include from the bone up to the top of the capsule and obviously a different cutoff. But in this case, if there's a little bit of an effusion, it's going to um, falsely elevate that measurement. So what we would then do is a more anterior approach to the axilla. So a more anterior approach, just let your probe fall onto that nice line of the anterior axillary fold. And then if you push up in just behind it until you see, again, the humeral head neck. Now the capsule that we measure is this little part here. So if you want to zoom in on the screen so we can see the cartilage over the humeral head here. We don't include that. So these two echogenic lines, this here from there to there, that's the inferior glenohumeral ligament that we would measure. And you can see um, down here a little bit of the inferior glenoid recess. So that's how you perform a more anterior approach and I would suggest you do both and compare with the other side.